I chose to study abroad because the question was kind of why not for me. I grew up in a small town and I always knew that I wanted to travel. Just the fact that like inner city kids, we usually aren't uh, introduced to things like that early on. It was always something I kind of like dreamed of. I had done a program in high school and it gave me kind of the bug to, to see the world. Besides just looking at pictures and videos, you know, I actually wanted to be out there and I didn't think I would have time to actually do that after I graduate. So I just said, let me get the most experience that I can get now. And it's a good opportunity to do it in college because you don't have a lot of other uh, obligations at the moment. When I came here to Michigan, even at my freshman orientation, it was made to sound like anybody could study abroad and that was really eye-opening for me. I did choose to do a winter semester rather than a six-week program or a shorter program because I really wanted to invest myself within that community and find myself in the process and just explore. The world is very big. You don't realize all the different types of people that there are until you're in that sort of very international school. And when I heard that Michigan has a ton of study abroad opportunities, that I had friends that had studied abroad and it changed their lives, I thought, why not me? Hi, my name is Swati. I did the GIEU Kenya Study Abroad program. I majored in Spanish and International Studies and I just graduated. I decided to study abroad because I'd always wanted to. I'd always loved traveling and been passionate about it. And I think it's a really great way to learn about yourself and learn about others. I thought it would be a great way to expand my college career. I loved my host family. I thought it was a great way to get to learn about the culture because our host family made sure that we spoke in Swahili and made sure that we cooked with them, dined with them, cleaned up after our meals. I think I definitely had my share of cultural experiences thanks to my host family. Well, I was really interested in the GIEU Kenya project because of its focus on water sanitation and community health. And since I'm gonna be studying public health, I found the program to really expose me to what public health even meant, especially in international study. I'm going to be in the International Health Department at Johns Hopkins, so I would say that my study abroad program directly impacted my graduate studies. My name is Swati, and I am study abroad. I'm Sam Whaley, and I'm studying International Studies and Romance Languages. I'm a senior, and I studied first after my freshman year in Salamanca, Spain for six weeks, then after my sophomore year in Grenoble, France for another six weeks, and I just got back from Buenos Aires, Argentina for five months. My closest friends from the program, we went down to Patagonia for the week, and we were in Ushuaia, which is the southernmost city in the world. And I went hiking in El Chaltén, which was kind of the picturesque like mountain of Patagonia, and just being in such untouched nature was incredible on one of our hikes you could see a 360 panorama of gorgeous mountains to one side never-ending fields to the other side and it was just the, by far the most beautiful view I've ever seen. For this program I was pre-med and I thought I would be in the U.S. after my program in Spain and realizing if I'm the one out of my comfort zone I can get who they are and what they do. I realized I wanted to be abroad as much as I could and decided that I wanted to do public health because to me that gave me more of the opportunity to be in a community and either teach or do research, but either way being in a small town somewhere, speaking Spanish or French or English, developing long-term relationships with them. So now I'm studying global health, the intention of going to a school of public health and spending my time working for an NGO or a nonprofit abroad. I, I for sure want to spend my life abroad. My name is Sam and I am study abroad. Hola, my name is Kari Thorpe. I'm a senior at the University of Michigan and my major is international studies. I went to Granada, Spain for the course Spanish 230. My favorite memory abroad, a couple of peers of mine, we went to Morocco, Africa. That was really awesome because it was an entirely different content. We did things that, you know, I never imagined. We rode camels. It was just something that I never thought we would do, and we did it. After I graduate from undergrad, I would like to work in higher ed, and I also have a hunger for learning languages. And with my parents in Spain, they taught me Spanish so well that the fear of learning other languages that I've started practicing, like Mandarin, it's not there anymore, just because of the uh, confidence that my family gave me in Spain. Me llamo Kari y soy study abroad. Vamos a su, or in English, my name is Kari, and I am study abroad. Go Blue. 
My name is Betty Jalal and my major at U of M was anthropology. I am getting my master's degree in nursing at the University of Toledo. I participated in the College Year in Athens program for the summer of 2013. Being someone interested in anthropology and archaeology, Greece was kind of a natural choice for me because it's sort of what we like to call like the cradle of Western civilization. Greece was a fantastic experience. It was really great for somebody that was like me, that's interested in archeology span and also just a really proud ancient kind of culture. That's really, it really permeates it. It was just the most beautiful scene and it was something that moved me because that place has just been so spiritually significant and so historically significant for so many thousands of years that to be there is a really humbling experience. I think that what I learned from studying abroad that applies to being in grad school is that self-reliance to be able to make your own work schedule, know the kinds of tools that you need every day so that I can be the most successful person that I can today. My name is Betty and I am Study Abroad. My name is Annetta Joyce and I'm a double major in psychology and political science. I'm a senior now. During the month of June, I went to Oaxaca, Mexico. So we got to experience like indigenous art from like basket weaving to a guy that made rugs by hand. We got to see a glass blowing workshop. I made my own like glasses. Um, it was just really interesting to see the different kind of things the community really did. It was really amazing. It was a kind of a language barrier just because I haven't spoke Spanish since my freshman year. So remembering those skills and just how to have a natural conversation with a resident in a different country was amazing. For me, I'm already in law and policy and like community engagement work and next October I'll apply to law school. So my name is Anetta and I am study abroad. My name is Amelia Raines. I'm in a master's program in the School of Information studying library science and archives. And I did my bachelor's degree in linguistics at the University of Michigan. And I studied African studies and French language in Dakar, Senegal. A lot of my favorite memories are just of wandering around the city, exploring the city, meeting people all over the city in Dakar. I decided to study libraries and archives because I want to work in a library or archives that is working to revitalize endangered languages. Wolof is, it's not taught in schools at all. It has no official government support. Everything official happens in French. And seeing just how much people love the Wolof language, it's so much fun. And yet it gets no official support. I think everyone should have the ability to do whatever they want in their native language. As a native English speaker, I don't really have any trouble with that in my daily life. There are people all over the world that do. And if there's something that I can do to make it easier for them to have the right to speak their language and write in their language, then I want to do that. My name is Amelia and I am study abroad. I'm Mark and I am a public policy major. I am a junior and I studied abroad at the National University of Singapore. The reason why I chose Singapore was because out of all the countries that I could travel to where there wasn't any language barrier, it would probably be the one that was most culturally different. And I wanted to go to a place that I really felt a little bit more challenged and I thought that Singapore would be a great place to do that. My biggest challenge was having to like change my diet. In Singapore, like you're having rice every day. I really like the food there and since I've been back I think my diet has, has actually changed. I've been eating healthier food. I've been having more different types of ethnic food, like more Southeast Asian food. At the Ford School, there's something called um, Focus Area. It's a self-declared student-made curriculum for your major. My focus area is social sector management. So I was able to choose classes that would satisfy that focus area. I was challenged academically. I mean, Singapore definitely is very competitive in terms of how they study for classes. Everyone there studies very hard. All the classes did transfer back to go toward my major and it was not a problem. I would like to go to graduate school for a, a joint degree in Master's in Business Administration and, and Public Policy with uh, managing nonprofit organizations, for example. It's a strong intersection between business and public policy. There was no class at Michigan, to my knowledge, that was on managing nonprofit organizations, at least at the undergraduate level. It was nice to have the opportunity to take that class before going to graduate school and pursuing that sort of degree. I feel more internationally minded, global minded. Having Having actually got some international exposure really opened my mind to, to working abroad, perhaps. I think if it weren't for this program, I wouldn't have been considering a lot of these international opportunities that I'm currently thinking of right now. My name is Mark, and I am Study Abroad.
Hi, my name is Antoinette Wade. I am from the class of 2017. I'm majoring in screen arts and culture. Um, so I did two study abroad programs in year 2014. I did GIU Liverpool, and this year, 2015, I did Contemporary London. I had volunteered in a certain org. It was called um, Brujaha International. They funded for me to like travel even more further to Liverpool. So I went to Amsterdam. It was great because I was in the parade, so I was like the queen of the parade. This never happens in America. Well, not what I've seen. I've never seen something like this before. There, I kind of realized that I'm interested in something else and I should actually, I mean, I enjoy my major now, but now I'm debating if I should go to grad school for public policy because um, I did a lot of research out there learning about London and, you know, their system and um, so I'm more passionate. I mean, I'm already passionate, but I'm more passionate about um, certain issues such as human trafficking. So um, I want to get into that more than I thought I wanted to before. And with London, I just learned how things are a lot more different than here, but they're also a lot a lot of similarities so it kind of gave me an idea like you know maybe this is what I want to do um, as well as you know keep the film in the business my name is Antoinette and I am study abroad my name is Hanan Yahya I'm a senior studying social theory and practice concentrating in urban studies I participated in the study abroad program to the University of St Andrews in Scotland the memory that continues to remind me of my like beautiful memory of being there would be the people the kindness of the people just very friendly very open and being not only American but also you know obviously with my accent that was that was something that was obvious but also the way I look the way I dress and that was very foreign to them as well it would always be like very friendly very open very helpful and they really formed that community for me to, to love and appreciate community wise I was challenged but I, I appreciate that part going into the program I was pre law and after my trip I tapped on my like creative side with my photography and so I decided that I will drop my international studies major, I will turn that into a minor, but also pick up an entrepreneurship minor. Then I thought about grad school, and I thought what would be the best program. And on the way back on the plane, I had met someone from Boston University, and then she introduced me to the Master's in Management program at Ross, as well as Urban Planning. Those are my two grad school options right now. And I'm again, I appreciate it, because without that, maybe I would have pursued a profession that wouldn't have appeal to my real and genuine interests. My name is Hanan and I am Study Abroad. My name is Abby Fatt and currently my major is French. I am a sophomore and my study abroad program was a French 230 in Grenoble. My best memory was probably my last night with my host family. They took me to this ex-military fort turned restaurant at the top of this huge mountain overlooking the city and we had dinner there. It was very cool. You could see the whole city and I saw multiple like mountains that I had climbed. It was a good last evening with them. Academically, I learned a lot of French, and semi-academically, I learned how to kind of work with what you have in order to communicate. I learned to be a lot more self-dependent, I think, and when I traveled afterwards by myself, I definitely learned to rely on my own decision, becoming much more self-sufficient, I think. Definitely made me want to go back, and if possible, I would like to do another study abroad, possibly teaching English for a few years um, might be pretty cool. My name is Abby and I am study abroad. My name is Adelia Davis. I'm a junior studying neuroscience. I went on a global course connections program to Pretoria, South Africa in the spring of 2014. Around the time that I found out about the South Africa program was when Nelson Mandela died. I realized that I didn't know much about history other than European history or, you know, North America's history. I didn't know much about minorities' history, especially my own as a black woman. So that's why I applied for that particular program to learn more about the health and population of South Africa. One of my best memories, the National Election Day. We went to different polling sites to represent kind of the different populations within South Africa. And then the last township that we visited was actually my favorite because the way that the people who lived there invited me in and treated me like family was so welcoming and so warming. It's something that I will always remember, not just 
seeing it, but actually feeling the love that I experienced there. Studying abroad in a place that is not quote unquote a traditional study abroad location gave me a greater passion to want to explore the world and explore other cultures that are not appreciated through Western media and Western culture. I want to go into psychiatry and I want to help underrepresented people explore their potential and explore themselves and to really take pride in who they are. So I no longer just want to practice in the United States, but hopefully be able to take these ideas of self-confidence, self-exploration, and purpose around the world. A new goal I have for my life is to visit every country in Africa before I die. In planning what medical school I want to go to, I'm being more careful looking at what the environment is like there because I want to be somewhere that aligns with my values of global exploration and social justice for all people. My name is Adelia and I am Study Abroad. This totally changed my view on life. It's, it's that people aren't really that different. It just made me realize how big the world is and sort of how many options that I have. I don't have to follow one path. Because my major is X, I don't have to do Y and Z. Even though we all come from these different cultures, at the end, we, I think we all kind of value the same things. It was really challenging and I learned so much walking away. I began to reevaluate myself, my faith, my values, my career, everything. And so that's what I wanted the semester to look like. There's a really great quote that says life begins at the edge of your comfort zone. If you aren't challenged every day, you're not growing every day. I just really pushed myself and that made it more memorable because I grew in a place that I would never think I would. There's just so much going on and so many things to learn. No regrets. I, I appreciated every moment of that and I can take that with me for life.